Hi and welcome to this section of the course where we're going to switch gears from what we've talked about previously and we're going to begin to talk about rotational motion. Up until now, uh, everything that we've really talked about has been motion in a line or in a trajectory, kind of in two dimensions, kind of an arcing trajectory like that, projectile motion, remember that. Well, there's a, a whole class of, of um, motion that you're going to study in physics called rotational motion and it's very practical because lots of things around us in the world um, rotate. Um, for instance, your car um, has some pistons that go up and down in the engine and it turns a crankshaft and that ends up turning the, um, the, the uh, wheels uh, in an axle there. You've got the propeller on an airplane that obviously turns, the turbine inside of a jet engine, lots of things rotate is what I'm trying to say. And so what we're going to do is we're going to spend the next several sections talking about rotational motion and drawing some comparisons to linear motion. Um, and we're going we're gonna to use the, our linear motion foundations to understand rotational motion. But before we get to the, to the, to the complicated rotational motion, we're going to introduce some concepts um, uh, in the course of doing that are, that are going to help us. And so the first thing we're going to talk about in this section is um, angular speed and angular acceleration. So what you have is you have angular speed which is one topic we're going to talk about, and angular acceleration. Okay? Angular speed, angular acceleration. So we're going to talk about those two things and we're going to build up to that. Um, kind of the background material needed to understand each of these topics, we need to talk about, um, we need to talk about angular measure. Okay? So all of you guys know, or should know by now, that every circle has 360 degrees in there, okay? Long time ago, people decided that, you know, you have a, a circle a circle, or an arc or something like this, and so if I have a circle here uh, that I'm sweeping out with my pen, okay, how do I measure the distance around that circle, sort of? Not necessarily the distance in meters, but how do I measure how far around that circle I've actually, uh, I'm actually measuring? And so we do that by means of what we call an angle. And an angle is just a measure bet uh, between two lines, really. Okay? It's like this is a small angle, and you open it up and you have a bigger angle. Okay? And just by definition, something that you accept, something that's given to you, is that there are 360 degrees in a circle. And it's just a definition that was made up a long time ago, and it's something that we use today, 360 degrees. Okay? Now, it turns out 360 degrees, and uh, we've all already talked about this, is one revolution of a circle. Okay? And you already know this, so this is really nothing new. I just want to draw it visually for you here. 360 degrees is one revolution of the circle one time around. Okay? Now, it turns out that there's a much more convenient unit of angular measure in physics and in, in math, by the way, when you get into calculus and trigonometry and things like that, you're not going to be working in degrees very much, even though in everyday life you may talk about 30 degrees or 15 degrees or 25 degrees or whatever. But in math and in physics, most of the time you're not going to be working in degrees. You're going to be working in a unit of angular measure called a radian. Okay? Why do we need another ang uh, measure of, uh, of angular uh, distance there? Who knows? It's it's a little bit more convenient to you in your problems when you get down in the more complicated problems, and that's the real reason why we use it. The point is, it's very important. Don't brush radians off and say, well, I'm just going to use degrees. It's not, it's not what I'm trying to tell you. Radians are going to be what you're going to be using most of the time. Okay. So what I'm going to just tell you and have you accept